Well, when did you learn powerfully yourself? And what's powerful learning like was something that you were really been looking at as a school. So then how do we design learning and teaching to make sure that the kids are actually achieving what we want in terms of the outcomes of powerful learning? And then we ask the question, well, how does the physical learning setting support that? That's sort of how it all flows through. The danger is we can look at something and say, gee, I like that, I like that piece of furniture, or I like this or I like that, but it actually isn't about that. It's, well, how will that piece of furniture or that shape or this whatever actually help the learning that we're trying to develop? <coughs> and it's got two sides to the learning. Yes, we want kids to, if I look at this educational questions, we still want the traditional outcomes of literacy and numeracy. With no one saying we don't want those. Of course we want those, but we need them with an increased emphasis on knowing why, knowing how, and how to find out. So it's not simply being able to, the, the challenge for a career, I guess, is the challenge, you know, being able to spit back stuff, but how do we actually um, know it in a much deeper way? Plus, we also want all these competencies about learning to learn or graduate attributes, key competencies, whichever language you want to put on it. The good recent news is when you work on these, what actually happens is, you actually up the ante on these. There's a lot of evidence now that working on these, developing these, actually helps develop what you wanted, always wanted anyway. And it's been a bit hard, I don't know how you found it as parents, but um, I think it's been a bit hard sometimes for people to accept that, you get scared. Oh my God, if we're doing that, is it really, are they still gonna get what I think is really important for them to get? Mm -hmm. Well, there's been enough time at it now, and enough research to show that you really get those far, far better when you've got these in place. And in fact, a lot of the kids who've always been doing well in school had these in place anyway. So and they were learning in spite of the system in a way. They were bringing what they brought to the learning to help them do better here. And now we're saying, well, everybody's got to have that opportunity. We've got to make sure that every kid has the opportunity to develop those attributes.